Pickers. I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness. Hey, bag makers. I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness. Thanks so much for joining me for Social Sunday, my weekly sewing chat. And that intro was supposed to be Danny's cue to get on the set, but I, I messed that up. So hi, Danny. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're going to be chatting about a few things. And then I have a great giveaway at the end of the show. And also we'll be previewing two of the new projects out of the, the four new projects. So I'm very excited about that. Um, a couple of things that I wanted to remind you about before we get started with our chat. So uh, the November 2020 challenge was posted today. Uh, the prize for that is a $100 gift certificate to SoSweetness.com. And you have until the end of November, which is November 30th, to complete your project. And the challenge for this month is any so Sweetness project that you plan to make and gift or give away to, to the recipient. Um, so you have 30 days to complete that assignment and any so sweetness pattern is eligible. So any of the free patterns, any of the for purchase patterns, um, any book patterns, whatever so sweetness project you'd like to make, um, you can make and enter in the November challenge. October's winner was Michelle Frederick. So congratulations to Michelle. Michelle won that $100 gift certificate for the October challenge. And uh, we're going to try to do uh, a new challenge every month, so stay tuned for that. Also, the Rockstar Bag Sew Along um, is in the middle of week three for the Sew Along. And I've linked to both the November Challenge and the Rockstar Bag Sew Along in the description in case you're interested in checking those out. Um, Kyla says, where did you get your shirt? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got my shirt from Etsy. I don't recall the seller off the top of my head. Um, if you'd like to know the seller, I can check after the show. Feel free to email me. My email is sarah at sosweetness.com and that's Sarah with no H. Um, Loretta says, um, hi from Chile, Massachusetts. My first time watching. Welcome Loretta and thanks so much for joining us. Mary Grace is watching from Colorado. And- Look at her profile picture. Oh, I love that. I love that Araceli in your profile picture. That's a beautiful hummingbird. I was watching I like watching a lot of animal related documentaries, uh, especially on PBS. And I was watching another one, the second one that I've watched in the last few weeks about hummingbirds. It was called Super Hummingbirds and it was really cool. Uh, I won't get caught up in the details about that, but it was a very enjoyable to watch. Um, I noticed um, a lot of members were talking today in the Facebook group about disposing of needles. So I thought that I would share um, what I'm doing and I started a new container recently so it's only got a few needles in it but I saw a lot of helpful responses. Um, some people are using old pill bottles. Um, if you run out of your aspirin or ibuprofen you can use that to store old pins or even if your container is large enough you can store old uh, rotary cutting blades inside. So I saw a lot of helpful suggestions to mark your container. Um, I don't think you could see, yeah, maybe you could see my container. Um, sharps, just so anyone is aware if they come across that container in the garbage dump or whatnot, that there's sharp items inside. I saw another good recommendation after your bottle is full and you're getting ready to dispose of it to wrap it up really good with duct tape so that nobody can accidentally get into it. And I really like the idea of using um, an old storage container for your needles and then disposing of it safely because uh, there's a lot of garbage dumps across the world and a lot of animals, um, any kind of animals, but recently I watched a show about migrating birds and yes, migrating birds are, you know, feeding from the garbage dumps and it would be a shame if uh, they got injured on one of our old disposed uh, sewing machine needles. So I really appreciated the discussion in the Facebook group about this storage technique and lots of good tips uh, in the group. Linda says, I use old tin from mints like um, Altoids. Oh, that's a really good suggestion too. Yes, definitely. Um, let's see. Oh, well, we're already over to your, we get, let's see. Uh, everyone's from around the globe is uh, checking in CD's today. CD's watching from Malaysia. Welcome Some to Hawaii. You. Wow, that's awesome. Alaska, Australia, New Really Zealand. cool. I saw another one. Uh, Tamara's using a tall Mentos container with a flip top. Oh, yeah. I could see that too, definitely. 
Um, well, we're getting over to your pick of the week already, so if you'd like to share that. Um, but I'm not ready to go on my pick. I'm still going through comments. Sir. Charlie says, um, down, my relax. husband is from Arizona, a few miles from what I've read is the number one hummingbird, hummingbirding area in the U.S., Ramsey Canyon. I see uh, videos and pictures of tons of hummingbirds gathering, and because of the aggressive hummingbirds in our yard, I've only ever seen one on our feeders at once. I have since purchased now i have nine hummingbird feeders even though they've migrated south for the winter but i stage them all around the yard in groups some in the front of the yard some in the back just to keep it out of eyesight of the the aggressors um but i digress uh diana says can needles be recycled i don't know do you know anything about that i assume you put it with recycling goods maybe she means recycled as reused needles go to like a, a needle factory and they oh i don't know salvage I'll have to, them somehow. i don't know I have that's to investigate my thought that Let's see, Brenda says, I like your hair tonight. Did you use the headband with the clips in it? It's actually... It's like plastic. That's what I'm thinking. I could yeah. probably just put it back like in really zigzags. quick. Um, oh, I used, I used to use these a lot when I was, um, I don't know, I guess in my 20s. Yep. And for whatever reason, I only, I, I couldn't find them. I don't know if it was because when we moved or I just didn't have any left, but I bought a new, new package and I thought I would um, put one in for the show tonight. Pill bottle is a great idea too. It's about the right size. Clovis says my pill bottle has my old needles. Yes, definitely. And it's childproof, so it's. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. It's a great idea. Then there's probably no need to use the duct tape if you're using a, a pill bottle because you can just. Uh, All right, people thinking I'm cranky today. <laughs> Second one. I don't know if it's my RBH or whatever it's called. I don't really know. Uh, she did not. She saw your comments on t-shirts, I believe. So we should rent the space for advertising or get t-shirts. <laughs> I purchased this from Etsy. Um, I don't recall the seller's name, but if you'd like to uh, know the exact seller that I purchased this from, feel free to email me after the show and I'm happy to get you that seller. Um, I'm not sure how Violet is uh, knowing the answer to this question. That is definitely my daughter's uh, tag because <laughs> I've made it. And uh, I wonder if Violet is watching in the other room. She and Googled it. She Googled it for us. <laughs> if yeah. that's the case, thank you, Violet. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Michelle says, I throw my pill bottles of needles right into my recycling bin. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's time for my pick of the week. Sarah gave me a little nudge in my hands like, Danny, let's go to your pick. People have been waiting all week for it. And I know you have too because I have as well. And I saw this, I want to say Saturday or Friday when it was posted. And I thought, it's about time. I get a nice anime bag. And here it is. You ready? <laughs> Sarah, you ready? I'm ready. I want to see excitement. Woo! That's excitement. That's all I want to see. <laughs> Stephanie Freud made this awesome, awesome My Hero Academia fabric um, day trip uh, planner. It's day trip, what? what is it, sir? Cell phone wallet? <laughs> yes. Gosh, I knew it was something like planner, cell I phone really wallet. I really like the uh, vertical color blocking on the back. Let's go show them Not time. Vertical, that was so awesome. Like... I need to see it twice. I didn't get a chance. Look at the color. I love the flap, how it plays into the... The cutout, and that's his color. He's that character for this anime. His parents, his father was like a fire hero, and his mom was an ice, and they, he combined oh, and have both. Oh, I see. So it's the hot and cold. So the colors are that's where the color. The... I fairly explained gotcha. it, in case you didn't know that. Thank you. I did not know that. Which I knew, so I explained it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my pick. I thought awesome job. I loved it. It was beautiful. I thought it was super cool. Yeah. I did. You know, what, I'm, I'm gonna from now on when I go to grab a pick of the week, I'm also gonna write in the comments, hey, I'm gonna use this for the show, just in case you want to see it. Um, cause I do appreciate the hard work you guys put in making awesome bags and I do appreciate them. Good pick this week, Danny. Thank you. All right. So on that note, we'd like to invite all of the... Hold on. Brenda says she knew I would pick that one. Why do you think that? Well, cause of the, yeah, the probably subject so matter. Anime, right? yep. Okay. Okay. You got me. <laughs> uh, we'd like to invite all the bag makers to stand proud. Let us know in the comments that you're part of the So Sweetness squad. And we're so happy that you're here um i love joining you every sunday for the show and um especially now in chicago it's getting cold outside oh boy um, is it getting cold less things to do outside and i always have so something to look forward to on sunday evening so thank you for for joining us for social sunday so um i guess next on my list is the two previews that i promised i couldn't oh my remember gosh. I couldn't remember. That's me drum rolling. I, I think I showed one of these projects before, but um, my memory was kind of foggy on that. So I apologize if I completely showed this project in the past, but we'll be seeing it again tonight. So um, I have 
I have four new patterns and videos coming very soon. I don't have an exact date yet, but we're fin filming the fourth video this week, so pretty soon. I've seen your questions soon. and comments. When are the next bags? When are they, when's, what are, what's going on? Where are they at? What are you doing? What are the names of them? All that kind of stuff. We see them every week, and we appreciate it. Um, but Sarah's waiting for this big unveil, and I'm so excited today, if you guys couldn't tell, because I think she made an awesome set of bags. Thank you very much. So uh, a quick story about the releases. I promised to release, well, when I when I spoke earlier this summer about the four new projects, I said I was going to release them one at a time, and my plan in my head was to release them one per month starting in September, and we were actually ready for this first pattern in September because uh, we were just ready to go with that. Uh, we were waiting on a new website. We decided a few days ago to uh, cut our losses with a new website. It was just uh, going on and on and too on. too extended. We lost confidence in finishing it. Things we were promising to you all, the new projects were, I mean, it was just taking in my mind forever. So um, instead of releasing the projects one at a time because we've been pushed back so long, we're going to release them all four at once, kind of like old school four pack video bundle. Of course, all four projects will be available separately. Individually, yeah. So I feel like I sort of kept my word on that, even though, well, I don't know. Anyway, regardless, uh, here are the two project, two of the four projects. So uh, the first project is the Bellow Pouch, uh, which you may have seen before. Um, it comes in three different sizes. So here's the, the teeny, tiny, uh, small one. This is very cute. Um, this is size medium, which I'll have you hold just so we can get a, a size reference. This is size large. So um, in the instructions, I give two different finishing methods for uh, finishing up the pouch at the end. So the first method is to sew the pieces right sides together. Um, I give a second finishing method, which is to finish with binding and the little itty bitty one I finished with binding, which you can see on the inside right there. So uh, two different options, both will be shown in the video so you can decide which one you prefer. And if you're not sure, you can um, make the pouch up until the end where the, the two choices split off and then you can decide then. And I made another, I made one for myself a while ago with some uh, panel fabric, uh, Disney princesses with tattoos, which I thought was really cool. So um, this is uh, the first of the two projects. Uh, I'll put this to the side for now. I didn't notice they had tattoos on there. They do, yes. Um, and then the second project, I'm gonna clear some space because it's bigger. Um, I made two of them, one for the pattern, one for the video, so I'll show both of them to you. Um, this is called the Cavalcade Travel Bag. So it's a quite large bag. Let me hold it. As you can see, no. As you can see, it's got the zipper along the bottom for extra storage. So there's a top zipper um, section with some zipper pockets on the inside, two zipper pockets. And then the bottom, oh, sorry, the, the back has a luggage sleeve. Um, so you can slide that on your rolling suitcase. And then I'm going to open up the bottom just so you can see what that looks like. Uh, got a piece of, um, gosh, it's hard, hard showing the bigger bags on the, on the set. So there's the bottom section of the cavalcade. So also with this particular pattern, I give two different finishing options. So everything's sewn right sides together. And then at the very end, we put the bottom of the bag on. So um, finishing option one is to sew right sides together, which is what I've done here. And then finishing option two is to finish this bottom piece with just one piece of binding, which is this uh, bottom portion right here. So you can decide when you get to the very end of the pattern, which you'd prefer to do. And then I made, I wanted to show you the second one. I'm not sure how well it will show up on camera because it's kind of a lighter color. But I decided to make myself a travel set in um, this really cool horse fabric that I found on Spoonflower. And let me see if I can squeeze that on there. It's really light. It's sort of like a gray. Yeah, I could see it's not coming up too well on the camera. Um, oh, I also forgot to mention there's an adjustable strap on the bag as well. So you can it. Actually shows better as you it. go for it. Do you mind if I take it? Yeah, sure. Like further back. Oh, okay. The yeah. Fact, maybe on the angle. It's the lighting. It's like a pewter gray, so it's very yeah. light gray. Um, and it's white horses on top of the pewter gray uh, background. Back so, um, yeah, sure you can. Thank you very much. Um, so I hope you enjoyed those uh, two sneak peeks. And next Sunday, on next Sunday's Social Sunday, I'll show you the final two projects. So um, one in particular, I think you're going to be really pleased with. And 
I guess I'll just give you one hint. It's so big, like I'm not sure we can show it live on camera. So I'll probably take some lifestyle photos before the show so you can get a full view of it. But I'm super, super excited about the the fourth one. Um, Arlene see. wants to know what option yes, is easier. Yes, Arlene says, which option is easier? So um, I guess it depends. For the bellow pouch with the two options that I gave, sewing the large right sides together, um, obviously everything's relative, but I found it really easy to finish the large bellow pouch by sewing right sides together. The small pouch, since you have a smaller working space, it's still doable, but especially if your fingers tend to tend to feel sore or lock up a bit um, while you're sewing on projects, maybe especially in winter, the, the binding was, um, I found, super easy. So, um, yeah, like I said, you can wait till you get to that step at the, you know, because it's the end of the pattern and see which one you're interested in. For the cavalcade, I would say it's the same thing. If you get to the very end where I give you the two options, if you start pinning things and you find, oh, you know what, I don't, I'm not sure, I feel a little nervous about this, you have the binding step to fall back on. So either one will work. Um, Vicky says, what are the handles made with? I actually just use uh, Kona cotton for actually both of the handles on uh, both cavalcade bags. So this was a navy Kona cotton and the other one. Actually, Danny, can I have you lift up that other bag again? Sorry. The other one, I pieced two different colors of Kona right sides together before attaching to the interfacing because I wanted some a pop That's of red different. in the bag, but I didn't want the red to be overwhelming. So the red is just the other, the back side of the strap. Um, I see Sewn and Hard is asking when will I be releasing the new patterns. Um, very soon, this month for sure. Um, we're just, everything's hinging on this last video that we have to film. So um, we'll, we'll get to it this week. And um, I'll have an update for you on the show next Sunday when I, when I show the, the final two projects. Ruthie says, is the Bella Pouch uh, small, fat, quarter friendly? Um, I don't have my instructions in front of me. Um, I cannot remember. I think the large was a half yard piece, but the smaller two might have been either fat quarter or quarter of a yard, quarter of a yard, but don't quote me on that. Uh, will there be video tutorials? Yes, there will be videos for all four projects. Um, if you prefer not to have videos, the, the patterns will be sold separately as well. So there's that, that option as well. And I am very excited about these new projects because we will have and this is the first time we've had everything ready to go for a new pattern release, but we will also have SVG files for the projects that are small enough, which is the bellow pouch and possibly some parts of the cavalcade travel bag, which I sh shared with you. The other two projects are, I think, too big for the cutting mats. Besides the SVG files, we will also have AO files in case you prefer to take your files to the copy shop and have them printed or there's some online copy shops where you can um, give them the files and they will send you the uh, printouts on AO paper, which is large format paper. Sorry, Danny. So that's number two. And the third feature we'll have, which is brand new. to the harassment. I mean, it's not the first time she's hit me, but the first time on camera. <laughs> so um, the third feature we will have, which is new for us is, um, and I know not everyone uses projector files, but um, there is a group on Facebook, which is an awesome group called uh, Projectors for Sewing. I think it's what it's called. Basically, people mount projectors mostly on their ceiling. It projects the pattern piece down to their work table where they have their fabric laid out. And rather than cutting out pattern pieces out of paper, they transmit the pattern pieces using the projector on their fabric and just cut around it. So we'll have projector files, uh, large format paper, AO files, and SVG files for these projects if applicable and that will be um, in your um, accounts when you purchase the the patterns so everything will be you'll just get all the files so everything will be included so very excited about that um, let's see all right Danny's going through the, the questions right now um, oh before we get over to more questions I wanted to oh. announce before I forget the winner of last week's giveaway and that winner is Christine um, Berenger Trombley. Congratulations to Christine. Congratulations. I've contacted Christine on social media and just waiting to hear back so I can get her set up with her prize. Um, congratulations to, again, Christine. And I should say that I'll be answering questions live. If you have a question for me, 
go ahead and type your question in the comments, either on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you watch our show, and be sure that you're first logged into your account before you're able to leave a comment. And um, Danny's been finding it helpful to, um, if you will either type a little question mark before you proceed with your question, or if you can type it in capital letters, letters either one, it just helps him uh, quickly pull out the questions from the rest of the comments in order to post them on the screen. All right. Um, let's see, Arlene says, do you have a video with tips and tricks regarding sewing vinyl and um, needle size? So I feel like my video um, on how to sew with cork fabric, which you can find on my YouTube channel, um, pretty much majority of those tips for sewing with cork also uh, apply to sewing with vinyl, such as um, needles, using either a Teflon foot or a walking foot. Um, I also have a separate video, um, needle sizes for bag making, which you can find on YouTube or my website as well. Um, and you can just do the search in the YouTube box on the So Sweetness channel, um, needles for bag making. Sarah, people said they didn't really get good views of the bag because of comments and stuff. Yes, okay. So do you mind just doing a quick one, two, three? Sure. Uh, money, a couple questions, want to see the inside as well, yeah. Okay, so the bellow pouch has no pockets or anything on the inside, so it's just, and look at that, it did not close the lining, which I'm apt to do. So this is the one sewn right sides together. So uh, for the bellow pouch sewn right sides together, you'll just have um, an opening left at the bottom of your lining, which you can either machine sew Here's my opening because uh, I've got Wonder Clips on there. So you can either machine sew that using an eighth of an inch seam allowance or slip stitch that by hand. And I do have a video on my YouTube channel showing how to do a slip stitch. And the um, small bellow has the binding option so you can see what that looks like. And actually I'll turn it completely right side out so you could see. Uh, it's just a continuous strip of binding. Sorry, it's a little bunched up there. And it just goes all the way around. So. I used a, a slightly different shade of pink for my binding, uh, but your binding will blend in better if you use the same uh, fabric that you used for your lining. So again, the Bella pouch has both options in the pattern instructions and both options in the video. And then the cavalcade, let me see if I can. So the inside has, okay. So it's got the zipper pocket up here and there's one down here and this is what the inside looks like. And then um, the- Oh, they're saying it's a better view on my side because of the comments. I guess the comments maybe in uh, cell phones or something. Do you need to oh, open it later? Oh, okay, I understand. Sorry, I didn't understand at first. Should I push this down so it's out of your way? No, it's, it's out of my way. Okay, so there's a zipper pocket up there and so there's one down way. here. Gotcha. The inside is fully finished, so um, what you'll be doing to turn the, the upper portion right side out is there will be uh, an opening left at the bottom of the zipper pocket. Uh, if you prefer not to do that, you can leave, and there's a note in the instructions, you can leave the uh, <clears throat> bottom portion, uh, have an opening instead, but per the instructions, I do have you turn it through the zipper pocket. And then the bottom portion of the bag, <clears throat> Again, in the instructions, I give uh, option for finishing right sides together, which is what this is right here, or uh, a second option for binding, and you'll just be binding just this bottom edge right there. So I'll put it over on the side. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> um, Arlene, that's the one. Oh, um, did I answer I, that? I, I just wanted yes, to put it. Yeah, that's okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, you just show the inside, so I don't need that Okay, one. gotcha, gotcha. What is the material on the bag, Sarah? Chris wants to know. Um, Chris, the material on the orange bag that I showed, everything is quilting cotton. The horse bag that I showed, everything's quilting cotton except the actual horse fabric, and that was um, linen cotton canvas purchased from Spoonflower. So if you've never purchased from Spoonflower before, you can either upload your own designs and have them printed out on a variety of different fabrics, uh, even wallpaper, or there's probably millions of designs you can search through on Spoonflower. Um, you can, I found that fabric by searching for a horse, um, but there's tons of different fabrics. Everything you can imagine that you're interested in, there's something on Spoonflower. <clears throat> I'm really into my Bearded Dragon. I purchased a bunch of Bearded Dragon fabrics on Spoonflower recently, and it's really cool because these are not things that I can usually find anywhere else. 
Wanda says, is the travel bag larger than the airplane bag? That's a great question. And my airplane bag is in the basement, so. Next Sunday show, Sarah will give you the answer to that if you want to email her at it's Sarah either, at Soul Sweetness. The cavalcade is either the same size as the airplane bag or maybe like a, a hair larger. They're around the same size though. <clears throat> Leah says, what pattern was Danny's pick? I jumped on late. So Danny's pick was the day trip cell phone wallet from Minikin season two. <clears throat> Didn't speak. I want to know, are you going to have the acrylic templates available for the new patterns? Good question. Um, I will have acrylic templates available for three of the four patterns. Um, we have them in right now. I'm just waiting to uh, until the patterns come out to list them, but we have them and we'll have them in stock when the patterns are released. The fourth project, it was just too big. Uh, it's a huge bag, um, so we couldn't have acrylic templates for that one. And Dawn says, what do, you, um, what do you think of handles made of cork fabrics? I love handles made with cork fabrics. Do I have any out here? Um, since you're busy with that, I'll jump down and grab it. So many questions this week. It's exciting. Yay. A lot of Yay for questions. Ones, so this Renegade bag was made with uh, the bottom parts cork, and the handles are made of cork as well. Um, this particular handle is two layers of cork fabric, so just um, sewn wrong sides together, just two layers. Um, sometimes I do, like on my airplane bag that I made with cork fabric for the handles, I did three layers uh, of cork for the handle. So if you were going for a one inch wide finished handle, if you wanted three layers, you would just cut your um, cork fabric three inches wide. And instead of folding wrong sides together, you would draw a line um, two inches in and basically fold it in thirds. So there's one raw edge showing, but you can either leave the raw edge as is, or you can finish the raw edge with a product called Edge Coat, which I have a video on my YouTube channel, how to apply Edge Coat, or you can use a product like uh, either a seam sealant or um, there's other finishing that you can use, or you can leave it raw. Um, will that large bag fit under an airplane seat? Um, for sure it will fit in the overhead. Um, I have used, if, if it's a similar size as the airplane bag, which I think it is, I have taken the airplane bag on airplanes probably dozens of times, put underneath the seat in front of me. I, um, if I recall correctly, since I haven't flown in a while, I didn't have to smash it down, but it did kind of need to be like gently pushed down to, in order to fit under the seat. Stomping, is that gently? Stomping? No, I mean, they they're generally not super picky about the bag being like 100% underneath the seat, if you know what I mean, and the seat in front of you. I don't know, in my experience at least. Uh, Lori says, do you prefer cotton thread when sewing your bags? Um, I personally use Aurifil 40 weight thread, which is 100% cotton. Uh, polyester thread's completely fine if that's your preference. Um, that's just, uh, I've been using the Aurifil 40 weight for, and occasionally 50 weight if that's what I have on hand if I'm looking for a certain color. How many years now? Uh, maybe eight or nine years, so it's been a while. Um, Donna says, will they be released singly only or as the bundles or only or as bundles as well? So it'll be the four pack video bundle and um, at the same time they will each be released individually. So you can either purchase the pattern and video together or just the pattern by itself, whichever you prefer. Hmm, so we're having issues mm -hmm. with YouTube. YouTube is buffering. buffering. Hmm. Let me go investigate. Okay. Should I still answer questions for yeah, those that are watching? Yeah, you should go over I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I doubt it. All right. So Danny's going to check on the YouTube issues. Um, let's see. Uh, where did you have view queue? There we go. Oh, this is very kind. Thank you, Tina. So last Sunday, I showed my uh, grandmother's apple cake recipe, and I posted the recipe on my blog under the social Sunday where I have all the links usually. And Tina said, my husband and I love your grandmother's apple cake recipe. He wants me to bake it again. I'm so happy to hear that. I, uh, because I made such a big portion of the apple cake, I froze half of it and I gave half of the frozen portion to my brother yesterday for Halloween. And uh, we still have a, a decent sized piece in the freezer to enjoy. At a later date, I made pumpkin bread with uh, chocolate chips yesterday. And so that's what we've been enjoying. I don't know, since, since we've been in the house so much, I just wake up in the morning and sometimes I'm like, oh, I feel like having 
whatever the the baked good of the day is and then I um I find time to make it and enjoy it and it's been a lot of fun um let's see Sherry wants to know does the cavalcade fall within airline carry-on measurements so I don't know off the top of my head what carry-on measurements are but since I have my all my rulers over here I'm going to quickly measure the cavalcade bag and then um you'll have that information uh let me pull the horse one up here okay so the cavalcade measures let's see 19 inches long it is 13 inches high and six inches deep so um yeah 19 inches long by 13 inches um let's see This is a great question. So, um, Laura Good says, job, sir. what bag do you recommend to use everything okay with the YouTube? It seems fixed now. All right. Uh, what bag do you recommend to use as a project bag for English paper piecing projects not made with English paper piecing? So, depending on if you need a smaller case or a larger case, uh, either the Creative Maker Supply Case might be nice. Instead of having all the elastic for the pencils on one side, you can just have both sides uh with pockets and you can even put a mesh zipper pocket and i have a free video on my youtube channel for adding a mesh zipper pocket to any project in case you'd like to have that type of project and also if you need a bigger storage space perhaps the uh amethyst project bag um like i said it's it's larger than the creative maker so i guess it just depends on your need well, always bags inside of bags um but there's storage over here for your blocks as you're working on them that mesh zippered pocket that I was just explaining about however this one is in this particular pattern and there's space for here like for your needles or whatever else you'd like to put inside and what else was I going to say about this um oh I was going to say um if you are into Eng English paper piecing and you've made a so sweetness project to hold your English paper piecing supplies and you've used a different project for that let me know in the comments and uh, we can see what everyone else is using um, Kathy says, uh, will the new projects be able to be made in anything heavier than cotton, cork, or vinyl? So I did see a few people make the uh, Cavalcade travel bag with cork and, or vinyl on the bottom. It does make things a bit, um, you'll just need to require some more patience if you're using those substrates for the bottom just because I have a piece of Paltex on the bottom, the front and the back, just the bottom portion to make the bag stand up and not kind of scrunch in, down into the zipper that's along the bottom. Um, I don't see why you couldn't make the bellow pouches, especially the larger ones in cork if you'd like to, cork or vinyl. Um, Dawn says projector files, I've never seen this. So check out the Facebook group if you're on Facebook. Um, projectors for sewing and they have a um, FAQ section and a, a file sections with lots of helpful information and you can see um, photos of people set up um basically it's a projector usually hooked to the ceiling mounted on the ceiling and it projects the uh, pattern pieces down to your work area where you can just cut out around the fabric <clears throat> your mom says your dad loved the pumpkin bread sarah oh yay and someone had uh... that's my mom so um i dropped off some goodies for my parents for halloween yesterday um Pumpkin bread for my dad and my mom's sort of on a newer restricted diet, so no pumpkin bread for my mom, but <clears throat> my mom got um, funny health, healthy things like a, what did I bring her, a cauliflower, a kohlrabi, and some cassava um, tortilla chips. <clears throat> did you oh, the yeah, Lori said to try the butterscotch chips instead. I will definitely do that. It was delicious the way you made it. <clears throat> Rolanda says, with all these new features, will the price of the patterns remain the same? Yep, same as we've always done in the past. The four-pack video bundles from past years were always $40 for the four projects and four videos. And <clears throat> don't forget all those extras this time, like the projector files, SVGs, all that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Individual patterns will drink? be, um, yeah, I forgot to grab a water this time. Um, nine Individual patterns will be $9. The pattern and video together will be 15 so... Um, basically pricing like we've done in past years. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, Danny jumped to get me some water, so I'm going to search for some more um, questions. Uh, 
Let's see. Oh, uh, Kyla has a question about the bellow pouch. Um, I don't see the seam on the bottom of the bellow pouch, but the fabric looks directional. That's a great question. Let me grab this pink one because I think this is apparent. So there is a seam on the bottom, which I think you can see. There's one seam, and I use top stitching on either side of the seam, depending on the Shut size, the to um, kind of stabilize the bag just because the corners are rounded, and I felt like the top stitching um, made it more stable. I don't know if you can see on the... Yeah, you could see on the larger as well. Just the one seam on the bottom so you can use your uh, directional fabric. Thank you. What is the... Oh, what, cranberry juice? Yes. <clears throat> Sarah, what are you doing on here? I was you trying to look all, through some more questions. Tabs, two tabs. This is all the saved ones. Oh, I did not know this that. This is the live ones. Sorry. I think... Did you say you know how to do this earlier? <clears throat> I didn't you? realize you had a system, so oh, okay, that's a little okay. bit different. Okay. You're pretty good. I'd give you a 9 out of 10. I was able to get the question on the screen. You were. So, good yeah. job. <clears throat> Are you looking for a replacement? For you, you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I got the, the question on the screen. I'm... I'm going to quit right here while you're still valuable. No, your job is, I admit, I couldn't answer the questions and search for more questions at the same time. I think my brain would. I don't know if you answer I did not. another question. Um, what bag pattern would be good to show off a paper pieced block? Um, actually, this one that I pulled down before a couple years ago at a sewing retreat that I hosted. Um, I have the worst memory. I think it was a flower paper piece block on the front and back. And because this is a, can accommodate about approximately a 12 and a half inch finished block, I think it would be a good opportunity to use a quilt block on this particular project. Anne says, when you recommend two layers of interfacing, do you bond one first, then the other, or heat them all at once? So that's a great question. Um, I prefer to do one at a time just to make sure the first one's properly adhered and again, it depends on what that combination is, but adhere one first, and then the second one. Um, last Sunday, I was talking about sealing sew in, in Peltex um, with uh, against your fabric, um, and so I guess, it, like I said, it depends on the combination. I recently was working on a pattern that I was using either two or four layers of shape flex, and in that case, I was doing them um, even though it was four of the same type of interfacing. I was doing them one at a time and just layering them up just to make sure that the iron is hot enough to uh, really get that interfacing adhered. Debbie um, wants to know, is that the biggest bag you've ever made? Um, the fourth one that I'm gonna show you next Sunday is probably, yeah, that would be the biggest bag I've ever made, right? You know more than I do. It's huge, yeah. It's it's huge and I'm super excited about Maybe it. Maybe we should contact... Um... Mm. I have an idea. So I'm not going to show you the fourth bag now, but I'll show you, I'll give you a hint and then I think you'll be able to figure out, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. This is very generous of you, Sarah. Sarah, usually keep it close to your, uh, someone asked you a question if that's what you're going to show. I see you grabbing. Okay. Yep. I had a question about that. Okay. Who had a, how did they know? They, well, they asked if you had, um, any of these bags offering wheels. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? I think I did say something about wheels before. So, all right. Um, I have another one without this little strap on it. Anyway, so this is a luggage carrier, and this particular one's made by Samsonite, but there's tons of different other variations that I've seen that will also work. Um, and the fourth new pattern will sit nicely on here. And um, I'm trying to think of another hint I can give. I don't know. A bag you might use when going to a sewing retreat. So, just show them the bag already. No, what no, you... no, no. We gotta save some yeah. exciting content for next Sunday's show. So. Just make another one in different colors. I mean, no, uh, no, 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 no. Variations. All right. So the third and the fourth project, I'll, I'll show you next Sunday. So um, join us for that. You know, I missed your great coverage <laughs> of the um, projector files. I, I heard you talking about it a little bit. Okay. Did, someone said, can you do a, a demonstration? Is that one? Of, did you pick that one? Or it was in the list after. Um, I don't know if you went off my list or not. I would love to help you out with the demonstration. However, we have so much video equipment in here. Um, I'm 99% sure I will never have a projector in order to use projector files myself. Just She because... actually asked me about it. She's like, yeah, join this group on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I think um, I joined it. I started, I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. I have a projector. Um, for the projector files, generally they want a short throw projector, which is a little more unique. They do have some used ones. I've seen that you can mount on the wall in front of you and it shoots down instead of the ceiling. Okay. 
So anyway, um, I will not be able to help you out with that, but check that Facebook group. They're super helpful. Projectors for sewing, I think is the title of the group. And you can see all sorts yep. of pictures and things of what people are using um, over there. Terry says, what size purse feet are most common for a larger bag, please? Um, I've seen all different varieties. I like the half inch purse feet. I do have some that are a little bigger and I do have some domed ones that which I've never used, but they're like, they're gigantic. They're huge. They might be an inch. Um, like I said, I have not used them yet. That Cavalcade travel bag, can you pass the orange bag over here? So the Cavalcade travel bag in the pattern and in the video also, I just installed four purse feet. However, I, I made a notation uh, or I talked about in the video, if you'd like to have six feet instead, you would just add two more in the center and then you would just have six. So um, I guess it's just up to your personal preference. Um, Sharon Grace says, keep breaking needles recently on my Juki TL18 when sewing multiple layers of cotton. Any ideas as far as settings I should change or maybe get a new plate? Yes, the new plate, you wanna look for the plate for thick fabric. Um, which Juki makes and that should solve all the problems. It's only a slightly larger hole, but it makes all the difference. Jennifer says, um, just wondering what you would put in the bottom of that one and how big is it? So that um, Cavalcade travel bag is 19 inches long by 13 inches tall by six inches deep. Um, you can put in there shoes. Um, when I travel, I usually take a, a, my own blow dryer and straightening iron. So I'd probably put I could fit a, a few pairs of my shoes in there. I wear Converse so they don't take up a lot of space. I'd probably put my hair accessories in the bottom also. Um, what, what would you put in the bottom of that bag? Clothes. Clothes, yeah. If you had extra clothes, um, perhaps if you had, um, I don't know, like underwear, socks, extra things you wanted to put in the bottom. If you didn't have a lot of shoes, you could put those down there too. Um, let's see. Lulu Flowers says, do you have a pattern for an art portfolio bag? And can you recommend a company that makes artwork into fabric? So Spoonflower is the company that makes artwork into fabric. Um, and the first part of your question, do you have a pattern for an art portfolio bag? I'm not sure if you mean those really big art portfolio bags. If you meant the really, the really big ones, I don't have one like a, a huge one like that. Um, I do have one that might work though. It's called the Camp Stitch a Lot bag. I think it might be 19 or 20 inches long, and it kind of, now that I think about it, resembles an art portfolio bag. But um, again, I'm not sure if it's as big as you need, but it's a, a, a flat bag. Um, but you can find it on my website. Just do a search, a Google search for So Sweetness Camp Stitch a Lot bag, and you'll find the pictures of that project there. Angela says, which zipper pulls have you used? Um, let's see, on the new, I have to say, can you, sorry, can you pass that bag over here? I have to say out of the zipper pulls that we stock, my favorite by far are the, I don't know if it might be too, let's see if I can, let me zip it up. Um, I don't know. These are the hollow pulls and I just like them because they feel kind of substantial and especially in this bag, there we go. You could see this one down here also. Um, it comes so far in um, rainbow and silver. We'll have them in other finishes pretty soon. They're being made right now. Uh, the bellow pouches, I use these little star pulls. I know they're so small and hard to see on camera. I don't know if you could see the star right there. Just put it close to the camera. Okay. Let me help you. Yeah. We gotta get it center. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's the star pull. Oh, since you're doing that, you wanna hold this one up again? Sure, I would love to, Sarah. Um, what do you wanna see this pull? Here, how about if I pull it, put it in the front? Um, why don't you put, while I'm getting this ready, why don't you put another question on the screen? I can answer it while I'm getting this ready for you. Shannon says, template idea, I would love a small template that has the slits in it for purse feet. Um, it's so annoying when the supplier doesn't supply washers and I like for the slits to be accurate. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, I'll write that down. That sounds very interesting. Okay, Danny. Let go. And those are the hollow pulls. So those are my favorite, um, but of course for the pouches, it just seemed a little bit too large for smaller projects like that. What did I use on this one? Oh, I used the donut one on this one. It's better to get there fast than when it does. Oh, okay. It sees your face, so. Okay. 
Put your face in the middle. Yeah, close your eyes. <laughs> nope, doesn't Not work. Not working. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to give it another shot. Okay. Maybe my face in there. Let's just all stare at the zipper, not zooming in. Yeah, right. Uh, Sherry says, does the cavalcade uh, fall within airline carry-on measurements? Can you Google really quick um, carry-on, airline carry-on measurement is? And then uh, maybe... All right, 22 see. by 14 by 9. Okay, so the cavalcade falls within airline carry-on measurements, which are 22 by 14 by nine, and the dimensions of the cavalcade are all smaller than that. Um, let's see, Risa says, are the SVG files used to cut the fabric with a Cricut machine? Yeah, sorry, I should have clarified. The SVG files are meant to use with any electric fabric cutting machine like the Cricut Maker, um, Silhouette, um, Brother, Scan and Cut. Um, those will use SVG files. Um, Lori says, what type of thread do you use on your bags? I use Aurifil 40 weight thread. I got that one already. Thank you, Danny. Okay. It was while you were getting up. Sorry. <laughs> I think it broke it. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. The first one. Linda wants to know what direction uh, do you use mesh so it stretches? So if you want it to stretch slightly... I'm going to grab my packet so I don't give out um, incorrect information. All right, I have a, a brand new packet of the mesh so I can check which direction it stretches best because I don't remember off the top of my head always. Okay, so the mesh is a half yard piece and um, from, I guess, salvage to salvage or, you know, along the long edge, it's stretchy along the short edge, it's not stretchy. So if you, depending on what project you're working on, um, if you need to sew in um, fabric to a zipper or anything like that, um, just be conscious that it does stretch in one direction and does not stretch in the other. Are you calling it, another Sarah. questions? Mm -hmm. oh. I know, sorry, there were so many good questions today, but we'll be back again next Sunday showing the third and the fourth new projects. I'm very excited to share those with you and um, I'll be answering a lot more questions uh, on the show next Sunday. So one last thing is I have a giveaway for the end of the show. Uh, the giveaway prize for this time is um, our upcoming bundle of the four patterns and videos. So all you need to do to enter that giveaway. Um, oh, I did not write a question down. Help me quick come up with a question. What's in your bag? You tell me. Well, okay, so what are the top five things that you always have to have in your bag? Um, for keys, me, wallet. Keys, money. wallet. Um, I use an inhaler, so I keep my inhaler. What else? Uh, hand sanitizer and um, I can't think of the fifth thing. Well, those are my four things. Um, if you can come up with four or five things, let me know in the comment what you always keep in your bag no matter or what. Or what do you forget in your bag? No, don't change bag. it. Don't change it on me That's now. That's a better question. Um, uh, let's see. I will draw one randomly drawn winner at the end. You know what? We're going to do two winners. Um, Heck yeah. Two randomly drawn winners at the end of the day this Saturday. I'll, I'll announce the two winners on the show, and you'll just receive, whenever the bundle is released, you'll receive the bundle for free. So... Um, good luck to everyone on that. Um, thank you again so thank much for everyone. joining us for Social Sunday. Yep. I hope you have a great week and happy sewing. Bye, everyone. Bye everybody.